Welcome to this presentation. In this short video, I'll be going through five multiple choice questions covering diverse unrelated topics in psychiatry. Each MCQ has four options of which one is correct. Brief explanations related to the questions will be provided. These are the topics covered in the MCQs. Question 1. Which of the following is correct regarding hoarding disorder? There are four options. Please go through the options and make your choice. If you want, you can pause at this stage. The correct answer is A. Excessive acquisition as part of hoarding disorder is more common in females. The main feature of hoarding disorder is difficulty discarding items with or without excessive acquisition. Hoarding disorder with excessive acquisition is more common in females. B is incorrect. DSM-5 allows this diagnosis to be made in those with good, fair, poor or even absent insight. C is incorrect because about 50% of individuals with hoarding disorder have a family history of hoarding disorder. And D is incorrect because symptoms typically are chronic and they have a worsening course if untreated. Question 2. Which of the following is not a characteristic feature of serotonin syndrome. Is it agitation, clonus, dry skin or fever? The correct answer is dry skin. Dry skin is not a characteristic feature of serotonin syndrome while the other three are. Wet skin due to excessive sweating or diaphoresis is a characteristic feature of serotonin syndrome. The characteristic features of serotonin syndrome include mental changes such as agitation, and confusion, tremor, diaphoresis, fever, hyperreflexia, inducible clonus, ocular clonus, myoclonus, etc. Treatment options for serotonin syndrome in addition to withdrawing the offending serotonergic agent or agents include supportive measures such as IV fluids and antipyretics benzodiazepines, ciproheptidine, etc. Ciproheptidine is an antihistamine which has anti-serotonergic effect. 
Question 3. A Manhattan plot is used to display the results of which of the following types of genetic studies? Please go through the options and make your choice. The correct answer is B. Genome-wide association studies or GWAS. This is an example of a Manhattan plot. This is from a study published in the journal Nature in 2014 showing the results of a genome-wide association study on schizophrenia reported by the Schizophrenia Working Group of the Psychiatric Genomic Consortium. The x-axis, the chromosomal position, positions are depicted. In the y-axis, there is the significance of association. The horizontal line above the x-axis is the significance level and the green vertical lines refer to single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs. In this study, they managed to identify 108 genetic loci that are associated with schizophrenia. Such a representation is called a Manhattan plot because it resembles the Manhattan skyline in New York which has a number of skyscrapers of varying heights. Question 4. Which of the following is correct regarding cognitive stimulation therapy or CST? Please go through the four options and make your selection. The correct answer is The reality orientation is an important component of cognitive stimulation therapy. A is incorrect because CST and reminiscence therapy are not the same. Reminiscence therapy involves discussing past events using prompts such as old photographs. B is incorrect because CST is mainly indicated in dementia, especially mild to moderate dementia, to try to improve cognition and quality of life. C is incorrect because CST is typically administered in groups. So a standard CST course consists of 14 sessions of 45 minutes each spread over seven weeks at a frequency of two sessions per week. An individual version of CST called ICST has also been developed, but it is used only rarely. D is the right answer. Stimulative activities during CST sessions include discussions of current affairs, games, music, cooking, etc. The 
final question which of the following is correct regarding fractional anisotropy please go through the four options and make your choice correct answer is a fractional anisotropy is a measure of white matter integrity b is incorrect because fractional anisotropy is determined using diffusion tensor imaging which is a type of mri scan C is incorrect because the values for fractional anisotropy range from 0 to 1. 0 represents no anisotropy while 1 represents total anisotropy. D is incorrect because overall fractional anisotropy is decreased in schizophrenia compared to healthy controls. Decreased fractional anisotropy seen in many psychiatric disorders is an indirect marker of white matter dysfunction. That brings us to the end of this short presentation. Hope you found the information interesting and useful. Thank you for watching.